Hello and welcome to another How To Django tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and just make sure our settings.py file is configured properly. And this, like I said in the previous tutorial, we're setting up the base or our template for all our future tutorials because I plan on showing you guys a lot in Django. Uh, I'm, I really want to make this uh, the you know the best YouTube uh, Django tutorial series out there so for me to do that I gotta basically show you guys a lot of things so uh, to make sure we're all on the same page and we all have the same starting point every time we uh, jump into a tutorial I want to go ahead and take a look at our configuration here um, first things first um, let's go ahead and take a look at our settings.py file in here once it opens up all right uh, first things first we're gonna have debug set to true when we're working with this we're not gonna upload this any of this to a server this is more or less uh, let's show you how how you guys how to code the website uh, down the line if you guys want to see something like uploading in Heroku and whatnot I can show you that but I also have tutorial series on how to do that in the other Django tutorials We'll leave a loud host blank. Um, let's see. I'll show you guys how to work with middleware. We'll create numerous apps going through, but we'll leave all that blank. Um, right here in DERS, we're going to go ahead and put templates. And then once we do that, let's go ahead and on your second example here, um, let's go ahead and right click and create a new directory and we're going to call this templates all right um and right there templates is going to hold our html files like our home page and whatnot and so on throughout this tutorial series um what else should we set up here just bear with me as i go through this And we will talk about this kind of stuff. We'll look at how to make our validators. Uh, uh, eventually, maybe I'll show you guys how to set up a different database, maybe work with multiple databases. Um, so coming down, next thing that's important to us is setting up our static files. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. After static URL, we should have a static uh, root and static root is going to be OS, oops equal to os.path dot join base underscore dir and I'll show you in a second where that's coming from and we're gonna call this static uh, if you're wondering where base dir is coming from that's all the way at the top right here and this is our base directory it takes us into this uh, example right here all right um, you can re rename this if you'd like. Uh, I'm not going to, but you can rename it if you like to. Uh, some people use source, uh, whatever you want. Uh, you can use your name if you really wanted to. All right, next one we're going to set up is going to be media URL. So media, uh, that should be capital, media URL. And when you're creating variables in your settings.py file, they should uh, be all caps because technically, you can think of them as global URLs. All right, so we're just going to do uh, the string and we're at forward slash media and then forward slash. So that's our media URL. Um, and then we need a media root, oops, underscore roots. And that's going to be os.path.join.baster. And instead of naming it static, we'll name it media. Oops, media. Like that. And that's basically what we need. Uh, we don't need that period there. All right, so basically that's what we need for our template moving forward. We're going to need to add a static here. So we're going to create a new directory called static. So we'll create a new directory and call it static. 
and this will hold our GS, our GS, our CSS, our JS, and our uh, our JavaScript and our um, images. All right. Um, pretty much, that's all we need to uh, move forward here. So uh, in the next tutorial, we're gonna jump in and um, create a home page for something that we can work with moving forward. Uh, if you guys have any requests while I'm doing these uh, how-to Django tutorials, feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to show you. They'll give me some content to show you guys. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next tutorial.